So today we're filming in the city of Salina. Um, we're going to be filming two different videos for them. And right now we're just unpacking all the gear that we'll need to film it. So come along for the ride. This is kind of the first official vlog for our channel. I mean, we've done a couple of other stuff, but I haven't really shown a day in the life of working. So me and my brother, we are filmmakers based out of Dallas, Texas. So if you need any work done or want to work with us, uh, just go ahead and contact us at our email team at madlightfilms.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sully19 and then follow my brother at Looking at Rob. And check out Christian's Instagram at Red Links Media. Today is a pretty full day. We are filming, t as I said, there are two different videos we are filming for. So we are getting 12 total interviews and then we are going to be getting B roll after that. But luckily, for the interviews, we only had to do one setup. Although for this particular shoot, we actually ended up having to do a second day because the client wanted to do a few more interviews for these videos. So we ended up doing a second day with a second location for the interviews along with more B-roll. So it was a whole nother day. I didn't get as much captured for that, but I'll show that later in the vlog. We got here at 7 a.m. and the first thing we did was meet up with the client. We discussed a game plan for the day and how we were going to shoot these interviews, which is super important because you want to be as efficient as possible. We're out here in Salina, Texas, filming with Mad Light and the Cisneros Bros. The student has become the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> low key, low key. <laughs> Christian had been in the video game for a long while before my brother and I got started and my brother actually worked for him when he was at another company. Now we've now we've come full circle and we're able to hire our friends for gigs. So our call time was 7 a.m. to get here and we were originally going to be shooting at 8 but due to some scheduling we actually ended up needing to shoot at 9 so we had plenty of time for setup. The game plan was to get everything set up but not put in place in the exact spot that we needed them and then afterwards we would get breakfast uh, before doing the final setup. Here we're using the 600X with the Light Dome 2 for our key. We wanted to have a hair light, so we're using the F21C. It's lightweight, it's super easy to use and set up, so we're putting it onto an impact boom arm. For our main cam, we're going to be using an FX6 with a 16 to 35, and then for B cam, we ended up using our Pocket 4K with a 12 to 35 millimeter lens which is the full frame equivalent of like a 24 to 70 essentially. We got the bulk of our stuff set up so now we're headed for breakfast. We are actually both testing out our uh, new cameras. I got the GoPro Hero 11 and then he got the Osmo 3. Action cam shootout. <laughs> right, right. Who's got the better? So the following footage is us just testing out the cameras. Uh, and seeing how they Ooh. compare to each other. And this widescreen is crazy. And so right now it won't let me get out the center of the frame. Like it, oh, it, yeah, it keeps me center. Yeah. Yeah, but if I wanted to take it off, then I could. Yeah, it seems responsive too. Yeah, it is, bro. Like it really is. Like a little tablet. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> What I found between the two cameras is that uh, image-wise, they perform very similarly. I think it just comes down to uh, how you are going to be using the cameras. For vlogging and for walking around a lot, I think that Osmo is a fantastic camera for that. It's, it's just so cool that you can get such a great image and it's stabilized on a gimbal. Uh, with the GoPro, I love the fact that GoPro offers a lot of different mounting options, so you get a lot of different perspectives with the GoPro. What it comes down to is what kind of content you want to shoot. Posted, maybe tag like Osmo and stuff, like hey, this whole thing was shot on. 
We decided to have breakfast at Tender Smokehouse in Salina, Texas. And this place was banging. It hit the spot for sure. And you normally wouldn't like go to like a new place, right? <laughs> We'd be at uh, Chick-fil-A right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or Wendy's. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is like the best opportunity to like eat at new places. <laughs> Even though it may be a hit or miss. Mm-hmm. I'm always scared of mix. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't have breakfast without donuts. Gotcha. <laughs> just, this whole footage is just gonna be Robbie. <laughs> yeah, it's all Robbie's video. <laughs> So here's a slow motion test of someone jumping in the frame. Classic. Here I brought up the windows because it was overcast outside, but in hindsight, I should have only opened the windows to the left side uh, to keep all of that light from spilling in on the right. Later on, the sun actually ended up spilling through on the left side of frame, and so I ended up changing my mind on the look and closing all of the windows for the rest of the interviews. On the 600X, we set the white balance to 5200, and then the hair light we set to a warmer color temperature. I want to say we set it to 3200. Testing, 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 still talking to get my audio. Testing, testing, testing. Okay. Test. For this, I want to try and hide it a little bit. So it's going to go, like, I'm going to clip it like right there. Okay. So this will go under your shirt. Okay. Um, planners are downstairs as well. And they have a giant. And then I'm just down, the, I, I the front. <laughs> So then, like, they're way too tight. Right in between, yeah. Exactly. It's very precise. Uh, there's nothing in there. It's okay if it goes in a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you're raised up, yeah. Yeah, that's actually perfect. You can use whatever you can to raise your subject, but it really would have been helpful if we had a set of apple boxes with us here. <laughs> What was your name? Jessica. Jessica. Yeah. Can you take a picture of this little sign that says... <laughs> the slate. Oh, the slate. <laughs> what is it called? Slate. The slate. Uh, oh, I thought he's like, like just that. Look at that. Oh, does it put my name on it? How cute is that? Oh, cute. <laughs> She's lots of fun. Love it. Okay, hang seeing, on. Like, Epic Six versus this, like, sometimes it looks good on you, but then sometimes Aww. it's like, oh, the back of the pocket. Love it. Like, it feels so official. Yeah. You are. It's always a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Right. These fellas are. All right. <laughs> Uh huh. All right. Am I smiling? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You I'm not wait, smiling. You, smile you, 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 but you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, you just I'm relax. Just, me, a cam Hang speed. On. All right. Speed cam rolling. Jessica, take one. Here are the pointers I give to talent for interviews. One, incorporate the question into your answer. We need to understand the context of what we are about to talk about because the audience does not hear the person asking the questions. Two, I told client to look directly at the camera for this shoot, and sometimes I'll let them know to look just above the lens. And three, I tell talent to try to avoid ums and us, and that they are free to restart the answer since we are editing these videos. After we got the first interview done, capturing the rest came pretty easy. Everyone had a time block, and we were pretty much on schedule. After we got the last interview, which I think ended at around 1, we started getting our B-roll. The goal for the B-roll was to at least capture footage of all of the people we had just interviewed, and to capture footage of people in all of the departments. You want to record close-ups, mediums, wides, you want to get exteriors, you want to make sure you get details, you want to get signage, you want enough b-roll and coverage, that way when you're editing your video, you won't run out of any footage. We got some of this, like the construction of yeah. the street. Yeah, I'll just get you like 
just looking like you're working on it, or if you have an actual project that'll, that'll work. Um, I'm trying to think what projects. Oh, I do need a design. Um, I'm trying to think. We captured B-roll in the multiple departments that were in here. And then there are three locations that we needed to get to, which included the fire department. Could you look here? Yeah. And then could you actually do that pose that you just did and just, uh huh, yeah. <laughs> After the fire department, we traveled to our next, next location and we got the rest of the b-roll that we needed and then we finished up with dinner at this Mexican restaurant that was in town. Um, after talking to the client, they wanted to do a whole second day, so we captured pretty much the same exact thing. We got more interviews and more b-roll for these two videos. Um, the setup was different and this is what it looked like here. One thing I learned from these two days is that clients love to work with people that are easy to work with. They were more than happy with the images that we were producing, but most of all, the experience for them was fun and straightforward. Quoting the client, all of you were an absolute pleasure to work with. Thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see the final product. We are all here to learn, so if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 